Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to use Power Grades, specifically the Carnival Power Grades which you can download at mcmedia.com slash products. Power Grades are great little tools, they're like LUTs Plus. They're color grading presets that allow you to edit all the different stuff in Resolve so they're very flexible, you can do a whole lot with them and they're super handy dandy. So, whenever you download the Carnival Power Grades pack, you'll get this nice little compressed file here and you can extract that however you want. If you don't know how to extract a file, then you can check out my tutorial on how to extract files. So this takes just a bit and then, once it's all done, you get this nice little folder. And in here you can see we have all these Power Grades and then this one extra one that you can use to apply to crunchy footage to make it flatter. So you can use all these things because all these power grades I've made are for log footage because that's most of the footage that I get. Brag about it. So we can import these into Resolve. I'm going to just pop these over to another monitor real quick and then open up Resolve. You see I already have them imported, but in order to import more, all you have to do is go and click that little expando button, then create a new power grade album. Power Grade 7 looks great. Then all you have to do is right click, go to import, and then go to wherever you have your Power Grades downloaded to. Select them all, import, and now this will take a second or two. All right, then once these are all imported, you can just close out of this window and you've got all your good stuff right here. So in order to apply these, all you have to do is click and drag them onto your footage. You can see you get all of the nodes that you can edit. So say you don't want this vignette here, you can just disable that, enable it. Say you want it brighter, you can do that very easily. You want it darker, that's a little too dark. That's pretty neat. You can do that, you can go ahead and just delete those if you want. You can do whatever you want, it's great. And if you don't want to edit them, all you have to do is, we'll choose a different one for this one, is hold down control drag on and then you get a compound node so you don't have to deal with all those if you don't want them to expand the compound node just control double click and you can open them right up and do all your good stuff there so you want this less blurry you can disable that and then you can say okay now it's too bright so we'll darken it back down and that's pretty neat looking and you can go back and then it's all nice and contained in there still and now a lot of the power grades in this particular pack have some goofy effects on them because you can do that with power grades. So like this future bleak soma, you get these cool digital artifacts, but say you don't want them, you can just, you know, find the node that has them, turn them off. This guy, turn it on, see, that's cool. Maybe I don't want that. This guy, we'll make it darker because of the particular way things are adding together. That's neat, say you don't want that glow stuff. There's that, cool beans. So, you can see, power grades are super handy dandy. You can make a whole bunch of stuff happen in zero time at all. And not all of them are crazy. You can get some nice, nice simple ones just like this. They just look nice, which is good. All over the place. And now you may be thinking, Theo, this is great, but I don't want your stupid power grades. I want to make my own. Well, good for you. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is make a cool grade, so... Cool, yeah, look at that. Very neat, say that we love that, that's our thing. All you have to do is right click, go grab still. Got it here, give it a cool name. Theo is the coolest. And then, just like we did before, open up this little guy, and you can just drag it to a Power Grade album. Boom, Theo is the coolest, look at that. And then also, if you want to export a power grade and sell them yourself because you're like, Theo, screw you, I'm going to do my own thing. First off, good for you. Second off, just right click, hit export, name it, choose where you want it to go. Uh, and then you can see right in your desktop, you get Theo is the coolest, DPX and DRX, you're good to go. So you can keep a bunch of power grades on a flash drive or something if you're going using someone else's thing. Trade them with your friends, like playing cards, sell your own pack. They're very cool. I'm quite a fan of power grades. LUTs are great for keeping around because you can use them in basically anything. But power grades are cool because you can do like secondary color corrections and effects and you can edit stuff afterwards, which is very, very powerful. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. 
If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mies New Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, be sure to go to MiesNewMedia.com slash products where you can find the Carnival Power Grades pack as well as some other stuff, House Lutz, and Bright Lights Light Leak pack. Between all those things, you should have some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends because they probably need to know about power grades. At least I know a lot of my friends don't know about power grades. and They probably do need to know about power grades. So, once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>